Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the Facebook Business Manager. We're gonna talk about how to set it up. We're gonna do a tour of it. We're going to talk about different settings you wanna go ahead and configure. We're gonna talk about adding people to your accounts, so to your Facebook pages, to your ad accounts, etc. And that's like the main point of Business Manager is being able to share your pages and your ad accounts with other people or with agencies. So that way when they go into your account, uh, they, they can't destroy everything. And also this way you're not sharing your personal Facebook information with the whole wide world. So basically you give them access via the business manager and they can only touch what you give them access to. So anyway, to get it, you just go to business.facebook.com and you do need a personal account. So if you don't have one, you're gonna need to set one of those up first. And then you just wanna go ahead and log in and it'll, you'll log into your personal account and then you'll go ahead and you'll create an account and it's gonna ask you a couple questions. They're very basic business related questions like what's your business name, what's your address, things like that. So go through that process and then you'll be in the business settings area, which we'll go to right now. And so once you log in, you should come to a page that looks like this right here, where you see your different ad accounts, as well as the pages that are connected to your business manager. If you don't see this page, that's fine. We wanna to go to business settings anyway. So to do that, you'll just go to your menu, wherever you are, whether you're in the ads manager, or audiences, or wherever, and you just wanna to go to business settings right here, or there's also business settings right here. So either one's the same thing, click on that option and we'll enter the business settings, which is where we wanna be. And so here we are in the business settings area and it looks kind of complicated, like there's a lot of options and things to choose from, but it's not as complicated as it seems. I'll show you what to look for and where to go so you'll have an idea of what you're doing in here. It's not, it's not that complicated. So I'm gonna skip over users for right now, we'll come back to it. Uh, but what we want to do is come on down here to accounts. So we see like pages, ad accounts, business asset groups, apps, Instagram accounts, line of business. And so this is where you go ahead and you know you connect your various accounts together. So pages, ad accounts, etc. Makes sense, right? So if we come to pages and we let it load, we see that this pane over here changed. So we have these two columns over here. We have like a list of the different pages that we have access to. And we could go ahead and add additional pages by clicking this blue button here, right? So it gives us three options here. We can add a page. So if you already created a page, you can go ahead and click this button right here and add a page that you already have access to. Alternatively, you could go ahead and request access to a page. So if you're a marketing agency or you wanna access somebody else's page, you can go ahead and request access via this option right here. Alternatively, you could go ahead and create a brand new page right here from the business manager. So if you wanna make a new business page, you can do it right here and get it all set up. And then on the right hand side here is where you go ahead and you add different people and assign partners. And that's pretty self-explanatory as well. You just click on like add people here. Then you select the name of the individual that you wanna go ahead and give access to this particular page. And then you can choose what type of access you wanna give them. So do you wanna let them be able to publish content? Yes or no. Uh, create ads, yes or no. View page performance, manage jobs, view earning insights, manage page, et cetera. So pretty self-explanatory. You know, it gives you a little definition of what you're giving them access to and so on. So that way, you know, you're not giving somebody so much power that they could come in there and delete your page if you, they wanted to. So it's pretty self-explanatory there. And the same thing holds true for partners. And this is like giving an agency access to your ads account. So they might have several people in their agency. And by when you give that agency access to your account, then that whole agency, that group of people will also have access to your ads account. So you might be giving like multiple people access to your ads account when you permit a partner. So anyway, you click on assign partners and you can assign partner by business ID or you can generate a link to share. So if the business partner generates a link or an ID for you, I'm sorry, they give you their business ID, this is how you add it. So you go to business ID right here, you enter their business ID, and then you go ahead and select whichever options are relevant uh, that you want them to have control over. Like for example, create ads or something like that, right? So hopefully that makes some sense. Alternatively, you could go ahead and generate a link to share. So you click whatever options you want to give the agency access to, and then it'll generate a link down here. You copy that link, you share it with them, they click on the link and you know it pulls your business account into their ads manager or into their business manager, I'm sorry. So anyway, we'll close that out here. And then you'll see down here, we have like the list of people we've given access to. So we can go in here and modify the, the settings if we wanted to, or we could go ahead and delete it out of there if we want to. 
And then there's another tab for partners and same, same concept. You can delete it, you can modify it, all that type of stuff right from this pane now. And of course on the left-hand menu, if you wanna do a different page, you come over, you click on that page and same concept, add people, assign partners and so on. So as you can tell, it's not as complicated as it seems when you first land on this page. Uh, same concept is for ad accounts. So you can come in here and you can check out the different ad accounts you have. You can go ahead and add an ad account, request access to an ad account, create a brand new ad account right here from the business manager. And then same thing for access. So you can come in here and give people access or assign partners or add assets, which we'll talk about in just a minute here. But you know, same, same concept, add people, you click on their name and you give them whatever permissions you want them to have. I'm gonna skip over asset groups for right now. We'll come right back to it. Let's come on down to apps real quick. Now, if you have an application, you can go ahead and add it to your business manager as well. And then you can give other people access to that particular app. I've never done things with apps before, but if you're creating an app, more than likely you know more about it than I do. And this is where you go ahead and you connect it in your business manager. Coming on down now, we have Instagram accounts. And again, same concept. We go ahead and add whatever Instagram account we wanna go ahead and add. And then we can go ahead and assign partners or add assets and so on. So same exact concept as before. And now what I wanna go ahead and do is come back up to business asset groups and talk about this for a second because this is pretty important. You wanna go ahead and create a business asset group because it has to do with tracking. Uh, basically you create a group of all your assets that belong to your business and you group them together and then Facebook knows that all these, your Instagram page, your Facebook page, your ad account, etc., all that stuff is for the same business and it just helps with tracking and conversions and you really need it set up in order to use Facebook analytics I'll have another video at some point in time on Facebook analytics, so you can learn more about that if you want to, but it just helps with tracking and you know that way Facebook can provide you better results. So all you gotta do is come in here and if you wanna add a new asset group, you just come up here and hit add. You pick which one's relevant to you, probably separate brands or line of business, and then you just go ahead and confirm and it'll create the asset group. And once you're in here, you just come up to add assets and you can go through and identify which pages are part of your business. So this page here, which ad accounts are part of your business. So select the appropriate ad accounts, which pixels belong to your business. And you set up your pixels inside of your, your ads manager. So that's where it's gonna pull that information in is when you set up your pixel in your ads account, you know, it'll find that pixel because you connected that ads account to your business manager, right? So if you have your ads account in your business manager, it'll know which pixels belong to it and you select the appropriate pixel then. And then you come in here and you select which Instagram account. And then if you set up offline events, you go ahead and connect that option. If you have a store like a Shopify store or WooCommerce store and you have a catalog and you've uploaded it into Facebook, you can go ahead and click connect that then. Same concept with apps here. And then if you have custom conversions that are spanning across multiple accounts, you can go ahead and connect them as well. So anyway, you select all your different assets and then you hit done and it just adds all those assets into one group and you'll see like you have your page, your ad account, your pixel, your Instagram account. And so again, it just, so that way Facebook knows what belongs where, what's connected. And again, it helps with analytics, tracking, conversions, uh, optimization, all that type of stuff. So it's important to do uh, this business asset groups. Alrighty, so I don't mess with a lot of this other stuff. I mean, payments is pretty self-explanatory. You come in here if you need to add payment methods, but also you can set up your payment methods at the ad account level. So if you go to your ads manager, you can add your payment information there, which is what I've done. But if you wanted to add it at the business level, you could go ahead and do that as well. Uh, requests could be handy, so if anybody like wants to access your business manager, you can come in here to accept the request or reject the request or whatever it might be. You could also manage um, any sort of invitations you sent out and so on. So that could be handy. Uh, business info could be handy because this is where you go to get your business manager ID. So if somebody's asking you what your business manager ID is, this is where you get it under business info, business manager ID, and so on. So those are really the only options I use down in this part. Uh, coming back up here to users now. So when you wanna add somebody to your business manager or a partner to your business manager, so the same concepts apply. You just come up here to add, just like we've been doing with the ad accounts, the pages, all that other stuff. Uh, you enter in their email address 
And then you go ahead and select their business role. So select their role. And then you can go into show advanced options and make changes here. And you just go through the steps. It's self-explanatory. And you just got to read through it and make sure you're giving people access the way you want them to have access to your account, your business manager. So you just go through that process. And we already talked about how to actually give them access to pages, ad accounts, and so on. So you know how to do that already. Same thing with partners, ad. So give partner access to your assets or ask your partner to share their assets. So this comes down to that whole business partner ID where if they give you their ID, you go ahead and plug it in here, hit next, and then you give them permission to whatever it is you want them to access. So you give them access there, or again, we did it up here with this business ID, enter their business ID here, and so on. So there's a couple different ways to add partners to your account. And that is pretty much it for the business manager. See, I told you, it's not as complicated as it first appears. It's, it's not that complicated once you start clicking around. All you're really doing is you're giving people access to your business assets. And also you're gonna connect all your business assets together by creating a business asset group. Like that's what the business manager is there for. And hopefully you feel a little bit more comfortable coming in here and playing around. You really can't mess too much up, so don't stress over it. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them down below. And I'll include some links in the description as well to some other videos like on running ads and retargeting and stuff like that. So if you wanna learn more about Facebook ads, we got that covered and that's it. I hope that you have a great rest of the day.